Good morning, children. In our last session, we started lesson number eight. That is wings and tails, isn't it? In that, we learnt about animals which we can see all around us: dog, cat, rabbit, pet birds. These animals are the animals inside our house. And these animals are also called as pet animals: cow, buffalo, horse, goat. And we also learn about learnt about animals in the jungle or forest. And these animals are called as wild animals. Let's move ahead. Today we are going to learn about animals and their types based on size. Okay. we can see domestic animals and wild animals there are two types of animals that are domestic and wild animals we already covered in our last session okay today we are going to learn about types of animals based on their size and other characteristics okay shall we start animals are of many types let us look at different animals first one is based on size different animals have different shapes size and color animals like the lion tiger and elephant are big in size animals like the dog rabbit and cat are small in size okay based on size as i told we are going to see many types of animals based on various characteristics in that first one is size see elephant is big in size isn't it tiger lion are also big in size but when you compare elephant tiger lion with the rabbit ma cat mouse and other small animals the size differs isn't it cat rabbit mouse and other animals are small in size so we can see many types of animals based on sizes all animals are different in shapes and size as well as in color can you see color of elephant and color of tiger are both same no color of both the animals are different isn't it next one is tail tails of animals also differ in shape and size for example the tail of a dog is smaller than the tail of a tiger some animals have tail some do not okay have you seen tails of animals do you think all the tails of animals are same in size no the tail of lion and tail of tiger shape and the size is different isn't it and tail of a dog as well as tail of a tiger both are different in size dog tail is smaller than the tiger tail like that the rabbit do you think rabbit has a tail what do you think cat has a tail rat has a tail what about rabbit think and tell me okay okay rabbit don't have tail but instead of tail it has a small bushy kind of thing on its back okay so tails of animals differ from one and other okay okay can you see a tail when it comes to frog do cockroach have cockroaches have tail octopus spider 
No, you cannot see tails in frog, cockroaches, spider, octopus and some other animals. Though rabbit has tail, it is not like cat. It looks like a small bush, isn't it? Next comes mo third one, moving from one place to another. Some animals have legs and some animals have wings to move from one place to another. Animals can walk, animals with wings can fly. Okay. Do you think all the animals have legs? Some animals have wings also. What do you call them? Yeah. Animals which have wings, we call them as birds. Okay. Though they have legs also, but for traveling purpose, they use their wings. For moving purpose, they use their wings. Animals like elephant, tiger, lion, leopard and other animals use their leg to move from one place to another. Animals like birds, though they have legs, they use their wings to move from one place to another place. Okay. And when it comes to Snake, fish, how they move? They, they do not have legs or wings. Okay. Next comes place. Some animals live on land. For example, lion, elephant, dog, cat and so on. Some animals live in water, for example, fish, whale, dolphin and so on. And some animals live on land as well as in water, for example, frogs and crocodiles. We can see different animals when it comes where they live, the place where they live. Some animals like lion, leopard, dog, elephant and many other animals live on land. Some animals live in water like fish, whale, dolphin and so on. And some animals live on land as well as in water. For example, crocodile, frog and tortoise, isn't it? We know about many animals. Some animals are active during, during the day. They spend the whole night resting or sleeping. They are called day animals. For example, dog, monkey, elephant and so on. And some animals are not active during the day. They spend the whole day resting or sleeping. They are called night animals. They are active at night. For example, bat, mouse, owl and so on. Okay. Have you seen elephant? Have you seen elephant roaming around in forest at night? Or have you seen monkeys jumping from one tree to another at night? No, because they are day animals. Because they are active in daytime. They take rest or they sleep at night as we human beings do. Okay. And some animals like bat, mouse and owl. They sleep in the morning and they are active at night. Okay. You might have seen mouses in night running from one place to another. You can see bats at night and you can see owls at night. All these three animals 
are active at night they take rest or they sleep in the morning okay children we have learned many new things about animals isn't it it's our bounded duty to save our animals around us okay i hope you all will save animals and save our environment okay children take care and thank you